Welcome now to this video about similarity with regards to area. And in my previous videos, um, I have explained what similarity is. So similar or similar figures are figures where the corresponding angles are equal and the corresponding sides are in proportion, okay? Please make sure you've seen those videos that you have a good understanding of what scale factor is and what yeah, proportion is and corresponding sides, corresponding angles. And otherwise go to my site explainingmaths.com where you'll find all my videos nicely organized uh, for you to use. Okay, so we're looking now at, um, at area and I, this is just a sketch, okay? I have trapezium with an area of five centimeters squared. And with a scale factor of two, the question now is, what is um, the area of the bigger trapezium? And of course, it's gonna be more than five centimeters squared yeah, because it's bigger. Now, some students, and those are the students who don't really understand what similarity is, are gonna say, well, scale factor is two, so it's twice as big, so five times two, the area is going to be 10 centimeters squared. Um, and we're gonna find out now, is that right or wrong? Do we just multiply it by the scale factor? We're gonna answer this question in one or two minutes time. We're first gonna have a look at this situation. I have uh, sketched uh, two, um, how do you call those? Squares, yeah, very good, John. Okay, that's a square. Length is one centimeter, so what is the area of this little tiny square? The area is gonna be one centimeter squared, yeah? Because that's one times one, the area of this square is one centimeter squared. I'm sure you agree with that. Now, if I make it, well, let's make it three times as big as square, okay? With a scale factor of three. So I'm going to sketch it. Um, so it's not one anymore, it's three. And that side is gonna be three. And that side is three, yeah? And this is a sketch, yeah? But let's say that is a square. The scale factor is three, so all lengths, three times as big. Uh, so three centimeters now. What is the area of this square? Is that three times as much? Is it one times three? Is it the area of the smaller triangle times the scale factor? No, it's not, because it's three times three. Yeah? The area is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine centimeters squared. <coughs> Excuse me. So as you can see, with area and similarity, I cannot just multiply the area by the scale factor. One more example. I have um, a square of two centimeters. Let's make it bigger with a scale factor. Or, let, let's do two. Yeah? So the two centimeters is going to be uh, four times two and four and four and four. Okay, now what is the area of the smaller triangle? Well, that's two by two. That's gonna be four centimeters squared. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm, I've got so excited about this that I have to cough now all the time. Anyway, four centimeters squared. Is this one, the bigger triangle with a scale factor of two, is the area also gonna be twice as big then, four times two? No, it's not because four centimeters, four centimeters, the area here is gonna be 16 centimeters squared. So as you can see, you cannot just simply multiply the area by the scale factor to get the new area because four times two is not 16, one times three is not nine. No, what do you have to do? You have to multiply the area by the scale factor and the scale factor is usually um, uh, represented by the letter K by the scale factor to the power two, by the scale factor squared. We're talking about an area, scale factor squared because this length has been multiplied by three, but that length has also been multiplied by three. So to find the area, you have your previous length times three, times the scale factor, times your previous length times three, times the scale factor. Same here. Two times, you use that scale factor of two yeah, uh, to find your new um, area. That doesn't really make sense. I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. One centimeter, if the scale factor is three, so it's one times the scale factor squared, one times nine is nine centimeters squared. Yes, indeed. Four, if the scale factor is two, yeah, but then to the power two, if we're looking uh, at area, four times two to the power two, four times four, indeed is 16 centimeters squared. Back to this question. If the scale factor is two, what is the area of the bigger trapezium? Do I just do four times two? No, I don't. I do, it's not four, five times two? No, I don't. I do the area of the smaller one times the scale factor squared, because we're talking about area. 
So that is going to be 5 times 4. The area is going to be 20 centimeters squared. Okay, fantastic. So you have learned now the difference in approach when you're looking at similarity with regards to area as opposed to similarity with regards to just normal lengths. Okay, the next video, I have another typical example question involving um, area and similarity. And you can check my site, explainingmaths.com for all the resources you need and like and share this if it was useful. Um, then I can help your friends too. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.